Hey Virgo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of April 1st through the 8th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you, Virgo. Alright, so not surprisingly, we have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You have been getting a theme, a message of a very big opportunity here for you, Virgo, for quite a few readings now. So the Ace of Pentacles to me is really confirming that this is going to keep being relevant. This is going to keep being true for you, Virgo. There is a new offer, a new opportunity, very big things happening in your life right now. Um, we also have the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the King of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Sun. So a lot, a lot of good cards here, good energy. Um, I can't help but feel like you just are in a very good place right now, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Uh, with the Sun, I... I mean, the sun is the sun, right? Like, this is the card of just pure happiness, joy, fulfillment. With the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like you're really just embracing this new opportunity. You're embracing all of the things that are coming with it. Some of you are really embarking on a journey where you're not only getting more finances or more income. You're not only benefiting financially, but you're also feeling emotionally fulfilled. There's a lot of joy, a lot of happiness coming from this. And I also feel like this opportunity is going to really help you help your family. It's going to help you build your family. It's going to help you take care of things that maybe in the recent past you worried about. You worried, how am I going to take care of my family? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Whereas now you're just kind of like, wow. I can take care of it. So this is really just saying like the universe does have your back. And e even though maybe there were moments in the recent past where you doubted that, maybe you doubted, you doubted the universe, you doubted God, or you doubted whoever you believed in. Did, do they really have my back? Why am I going through this? Now I feel like you're really seeing the full picture of the the more difficult circumstances that you went through in the past. But I feel like at the end of the day, you still believed, you still trusted your intuition, and you knew that this opportunity was going to come eventually. And now that it's here, it's like there's so much to celebrate. There's so much to look forward to. And there is so much support around you, Virgo. You have a whole group of people here rooting on you. And, and I also feel to some extent that some people are relying on you. They do rely on you to be successful. They do rely on you to be, you know, stable and independent and financially, um, you know, independent. Because I feel like you, you take care of the people that you care about. You take care of your family. You take care of your children if you have them. You take care of your partner. You take care of your friends. It's like you are not only successful for yourself, but you do it also because you have that that desire and you feel that obligation to help the people that, that have maybe helped you in one way, shape, or form. So maybe you have a very good friend that maybe they weren't able to support you financially throughout the years, but they were always there emotionally supporting you they were your emotional rock you know they were the person that you could always count on and i feel like right now virgo your your success and this opportunity that you have now is really giving you the chance to give back to the people that carried you through to give back to the people that believed in you so you're in a very very honorable position here um, with the king of wands and the queen of swords i feel like you could be attracting or with a fire sign or an air sign or this is really just kind of speaking to the fact that you've been able to make it work with someone here and you're really together putting work into this opportunity i feel like you're not alone in this you could be running a business with a partner you could be running the business with a friend with a family member i feel like there's just a lot of support on your side there's a lot of teamwork here there's a lot of mutual um interests okay so not you you're not the only person that has an investment in this opportunity but that makes it better because you know more heads are better than one and i feel like you're, there's strength in numbers here and i feel like you work so well with this person or this group of people and it's going to continue to lead to that success you have the secret recipe or the perfect recipe of 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 team members here you know the people that you're surrounding yourself with 
the people that you're close to, they are exactly where they need to be in your life because they're helping you keep going. They've helped you, you know, go up and they're keeping you on that path. Oh my God. We have the six of wands and we also have the three of cups right after that. To me, this is really just clarifying, confirming, solidifying what I just said. There's success in this team. There is success in this group of people that you're with. You and, and the people that you're close to right now, if you stay together and you keep putting the same energy through like throughout the whole year, this opportunity, this business, whatever it is that you're doing, it's only going to grow. It's only going to get better if you keep this same energy, Virgo, because this is essential. This is this energy is the reason why you've made it this far. It's because you know how to work with people. And when you have the right group, when you have the right team, whether it's a team of one, a team of two, or a team of 20, you know how to make stuff happen. You know how to be successful. You understand what is necessary for things to work out, but it has to continue. It has to be a consistent, um, you know, like management, a, con a consistent system, process, whatever you want to call it, because that's what's going to lead to the success. It's the it's the, st the success of the group, okay? The health of the group, the ability of the group to stay together. That's what's going to really maintain this, this role that you're on because you are on a roll, Virgo. we have the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck again there's this energy of you being able to now give back to the people that have helped you or maybe you just you you have so many opportunities now that you're able to just do things that you weren't that it not that you weren't able to do but it just wasn't easy i feel like in the recent past you could have dealt with financial struggles of your own so even if you wanted to help you had to take care of yourself first but i feel like now you're really just stepping into this whole new um, level of abundance, you know? You have so much abundance that you have enough to give. So I feel like you're helping other people because I feel like those people helped you in some way in the past. With the page, oh, let me show you. We have the page of wands, the ace of wands, the eight of swords, and the five of swords. With the page of wands and the ace of wands, to me, this is really saying that this is your vision. Whatever is happening here, this is your vision. You manifested this with what you have been thinking about for the past few years. Like you've had this idea in your head. You've been really thinking about it, really thinking about it. And now you're just finally doing it. It's no longer just a thought. You went, you saw, and you made it happen. So I feel like there's there's a very big deal of motivation here. You're inspired to keep this going because it's your vision. It's something you thought of. It's something that you brought into existence, Virgo. And I feel like you you have this vision for a reason um you know it's it's almost like this opportunity was made for you it was made just for you made for the type of person that you are the the purpose that you have on this earth i feel like it was made for your work ethic it was made for your personality and it was made for the group of people that you're with so i also feel like you could be looking for more people to help you keep this vision you could be looking for more ways to keep your team motivated, to keep your team engaged, to keep things exciting and refreshing and, and also enjoyable for everyone. Because I feel like you also care about that as well. It's not just about the money. It's not just about the success. It's also about how it makes everyone feel, including yourself. So I feel like you're really like actively looking for ways to just keep things on the right path. Keep the same energy. Just keep the same energy. That's going to be the title of this one. Um, with the Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords, I feel like sometimes we are afraid that a little conflict is a very big deal when really it's not. So I feel like the only challenge that I really see here, Virgo, is that there might be some sort of conflicts that show up. Um, because honestly, working with people, it's going to happen no matter what. It could be your best friend. It could be your mom, your sister, your brother, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. It could be anybody you're close to. Conflicts will arise and that's natural. It's normal. But sometimes we think that they're so much worse than they really are. And that can make some, some things happen in our head. We can create scenarios. We can go crazy for a little bit. And we can stress ourselves out. So I would just say that my only advice really here, aside from keep the same energy, 
is to be aware of your thoughts when little conflicts arise because sometimes it's not it's not a deal breaker it's just it's normal nothing in the world is perfect and honestly as long as you focus on keeping this energy consistent and taking care of yourself and the people that you're working with these things will be minimized in fact your worries may really just be in your head you may be creating these scenarios because you don't want to mess up what's going on here you're so determined to keep this going you're so determined to maintain the happiness and the joy and the success of this opportunity that you might be creating in your own head the ways that this can go wrong but i would challenge you virgo to just keep doing what you're doing because it's going to work out it's going to be beautiful and i really hope this resonated if it did please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one